OK, well, let's go and take a look. If we are going to uh, go ahead and take a look at this one again, it's very important for us to just kind of think about graphing these separately um, on the same graph and then just using our constraints to go ahead and finish them up. So you can think of y equals 2 times oops, 2x minus 4 squared for again, uh, minus 1. Again, my, what I said is whenever you have a um, compression or reflection inside the function, but you also have a translation, you got to make sure that that is being multiplied by both of them. So I need to factor out a 2, which leaves me with an x minus 2 squared minus 1. So now, when I go ahead and graph this, uh, my vertex is now changed to over 2, down 1. Please note that that um, horizontal, uh, so now it's basically being a, was it a horizontal? We said a uh, stretch, horizontal stretch. No, it's a vertical stretch, horizontal compression, right? Yeah, it's, I'm sorry, horizontal compression, horizontal compression. Um, but what that's making us do is basically going over two, over one, up two. And, um, over, oh, I'm sorry, over, yeah, over one, up two. And that is less than or equal to two. So you can see that it's skinnier, right? And you could have also gone over two instead of going up four, up eight, because you're multiplying it by two. But I don't, we don't need to get very specific into that stuff. Um, last one is a square root function, which is uh, y equals square root of x minus 2, which you guys can see is, is um, a transformation to the right two units, but then up one. OK, and then that is just a nice little curve, looking something like that. Um, however, that's greater, so that's only for values that are greater than 2. Well, 2 is here, so all values are greater than 2 are over there, but that's greater than, so it's an open circle. And then I have my y, this value is only for x values that are less than 2, so then all of that just bleeds in. So then you're left with that nice little function. Okay? So it's just a combination. Um, again, what, what, just like what we did two class periods ago, you need to know your six trigonometric functions. 